Right, today we're going to be making the uh, valve rod fork which is this little piece here we're going to be making it out of some um, quarter bar stock there's the fork on the drawing um, fits on the, the valve rod and uh, we're going to make it, uh, make it all in the mill um, apart from the final part where we just uh, part it off so everything's going to be done on the mill hopefully in no more than two positions right let's get to it Right, at this point I decide to um, put the slot in um, rather than just uh, try and run the mill straight down the slot I sort of peck at it um, I've got a three millimeter cutter in there and the actual size is one eighth for the slot so that gives me a little bit of clearance either side just for a clean up pass on the internal faces This is where I'm uh, cleaning up the uh, outside dimensions. It's only on two faces because the actual size for the other two faces is a quarter and the bar stock is a quarter and so I've only got to clean up the two outside faces on one side if that makes sense. going to drill a uh, 1.8 millimeter hole for an 8 BA tap which I shall be putting through shortly the 8 BA tap is to uh, accept the rod which is screwed in from the other end once it's cut off The eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that um, this isn't the first time I've attempted this part. Unfortunately the first one uh, went wrong. It was uh, an error by um, converting the imperial measurement to metric and I ended up taking too much off the overall width so I'm using the other end of the um, bar stock to remake the part.
fabulous boat. How do I help? Just sign the selected festive badge from the 18th to the 24th of December, and every penny goes to Comic Relief. Win win. Saving free is good food for all of us. Some of the lines all proceeds go directly. Time to move over to my mini Waco lathe. I haven't used this for quite a while, but um, this is only a small part, and uh, the Waco has got a four-jaw chuck already in it, so that saves me um, stripping my mifer down and putting a four-jaw chuck in it just to um, finish this part. So I'll, I'll um, continue on the little Waco, and I just make the little round on the end and part it off. There's the finished product, the fork on the end of the valve rod for the steam chest as you can see now what it does, where it connects to. Right here you can see um, how small it is, um, it's really difficult making these uh, tiny parts but um, I do enjoy making them and um, they're, they're a good bit of fun. Uh, you just have to be a little bit uh, careful uh, on your measurements in particular because uh, on a really small part, any small error stands out a mile. Anyway, that's it for now and um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it.